Hello friends! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an amazing interactive dashboard in Microsoft Excel. And guess what? You don't need to write a single line of code. That's right, no VBA at all. This dashboard has some really cool features that will surprise you. You can filter your data easily using slices. You can see detailed reports for each state, product category and delivery status, all in one place. We are going to create this dashboard step by step. So let's get started. We have a table that contains sales information. It includes columns for product category, subcategory, country, quantity and sale amount. Before designing the dashboard, we first need to create pivot tables. We will make four pivot tables and each will go on a separate sheet. Let's add four new sheets and rename them as sales to track the sale amount by category percentage to show sales as percentage country for the map chart delivery to monitor delivery status, convert data to Excel table. Before creating pivot tables, we must convert our sales list into an Excel table. Here's how. Select your data press control plus T click OK. This will help Excel automatically update pivot tables if we add new data in the future. Make sure your table is named properly. Table 1. Creating the sales pivot table and waterfall chart. Go to the sales sheet. Click on insert pivot table. Select the table name, Table 1, and click OK. Now, drag category to the rows section, drag sale amount to the values section. Next, we want to create a waterfall chart. Click on Insert Pivot Chart Greater Than Waterfall. But here's a problem. Excel doesn't support waterfall charts directly from a pivot table. So here's the trick. Copy the pivot table. Paste it as values in another part of the sheet. Now we want this pasted data to be dynamic, so we'll connect it to the pivot table using formulas. Type equals and link each value cell to the pivot table cell. You'll see Excel uses the get pivot data formula. To make this formula flexible, click on the formula in the formula bar. In the part that says furniture or any category, replace it with a cell reference like F5. Now you can drag the formula down to other cells. When you filter with slices, some cells may show a number sign ref exclamation mark error. To avoid that, use the iFeral function. Here's how. This means if there's an error, Excel will show zero instead. Now you can safely drag the formula without errors. Once your dynamic data is ready, insert a waterfall chart. Right-click on the total bar and mark it as Total. Format your chart and numbers. Change number format to Accounting, add colors, Now go to the percentage sheet. Insert another pivot table using Table 1.
In the pivot table, drag category to rows, drag sale. Amount to values, right click on the values and choose show values. As percent of grand total, now copy this pivot table and paste it as values into another range. Make these cells dynamic using the same get pivot data method and iFerrer function. We also want to calculate the maximum value from this range to use in our pie chart. Use the equals max open parenthesis range close parenthesis function. Then insert a pie chart, format it, and remove extra elements you don't need. Now your dashboard is starting to take shape. And that's it for today's part. In the next video, we'll continue building the rest of the dashboard step by step. If you think this video was helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.